Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, using OpenSCAD to uh, make text and then use the very cool linear extrude command on top of that. Okay, so um, since OpenSCAD version 2015.03, which is the version I'm using right here, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, there's a very, very easy way now to make uh, text in your creations. So we just use the text command like so text and inside parentheses we type the text that we want and then we preview with F5 okay now we have open sky and we have it cool alright so there are some parameters you can set such as size so we can set size equals 20 Okay, now I make it a little bigger. We can set font. I'm going to do uh, impact. And then you can set the style at the same time. Regular. Okay. Oop, forgot the P. There we go. Impact. And then we can also set spacing okay make it a little squish there and there's a few other things that we can do um, like direction now this is going to be uh, text or, or a string is what we call on computer science a bunch of letters or numbers and um, we can do like left to right or we could do right to left or we could do top to bottom like that so by default it's going to be left to right just like we read in English we could do backwards right to left okay top to bottom oops top to bottom or of course bottom to top yeah so we're gonna leave it as top to bottom for now it's cool it's a little open scad sign there okay Awesome. Now, by default, this text is going to be two dimensional. As you can see, it's pretty flat. And of course, if we render it completely, it is totally flat. So, if you want to 3D print this, you're not going to get very much. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to make it pop out. We need to make it 3D. So, we need to extrude the top here up. So, what? How do we do that extrusion? We use the linear extrude command. So, let's go back to our simple text here and we're gonna pop in linear underscore extrude okay and then we pass it a parameter for height and let's just do five for now just a little bit and you don't need a uh, semicolon there not until the end because it's linear extrude is modifying this text okay let's preview Okay, and now we have our 3D text. So again, if I take away the linear extrude, it's flat, and now it's 3D. Cool. And of course, you can change the height to whatever you want, make it really big, right? Cool. Okay, now we can do the same thing to our other text that we had before. Go ahead and make a copy here. And now we've extruded up our text where we had more parameters. Okay, very cool. Alright, there's also the twist command, which is cool. So um, if I go ahead and go up here and I type in twist and I give that a value, uh, let's start with 20. You see that it's going to twist clockwise around the z axes. Okay, cool. Um, you can twist it even more. Okay, let's make the height a little bigger and make the twist go negative 180. So negative means it's going to go the other direction and 180 degrees. So it's going to go counterclockwise 180 degrees while we're around to the other side there. You have this crazy, crazy shape. 
Okay. We can do this on other objects too, of course. So we can take a circle. That would normally just look like this, right? And we can linear extrude this. Extrude, extrude linearly. Right. Equals 10. And now we have a cylinder. So this would be a slightly more complicated way to get a cylinder, right? You wouldn't do this if you just wanted a cylinder. Um, but we can do this with also square. Uh, let's see. Uh, 10 to 25. Okay, there's our flat square. And then we can linear extrude this. Height equals 10. Oops. Okay, and um, we have a cube, right? Not, not terribly useful that way. It'd be better to make a cube, but we can use that cool twist command to make a set of stairs. <laughs> How cool is that? One command, and we already have stairs. <laughs> Very cool. All right, uh, here's another crazy one that I'll leave you with. I'm gonna zoom in on this one. This is a, an example from the OpenSCAD website. And we make a very slinky snake sort of object um, using a circle, right? And the convexity command along with the twist command. So this is going to give it that twirly sense all the way around. And of course it's twisting around more than a full circle, so it's going around more than one full turn. Okay, so there's the linear extrude command and the text command. I uh, hope you enjoyed this.